Oh, right the life out of me! <laughs> photos taken for an evening standard interview that I did yesterday um, so that was fun and Charlotte Reed who does my hair and makeup is just unbelievable she makes my hair look so good I love it so much um, so I did that this morning and then went straight into rehearsals where we were like changing a few things working on a few things um, mainly for sound trying to get the sound right um, for certain moments in the show and uh, now it is 22 minutes past five um 555 is our half hour call and then we are having our third dress run tonight we've got another dress run tomorrow and then we open on friday uh, and i've been i've just been doing my makeup and sort of um playing around with my cinderella makeup for those of you wondering how makeup gets done i was given a rough idea of what they wanted i just did a very gentle pass at first at what they asked for um and then lawrence connor our director was like darker darker it needs to be darker your eyebrows need to be darker your eyes need to be darker um so it's got to a point now where i'm literally just smearing my eyes in black eyeshadow um and it will get darker because i'll put my false eyelashes on and do the whole mascara and eyeliner and stuff like that um but yeah, and I've also got very dark lipstick for anyone who wants to know the colours. They are, this colour is called Alien and it's just a black, basically. And then I use this, which is also from the same company, NYX, and this is called Transylvania. They're the colours I've been using. Um, they might change. I might try out some different ones. Um, but these are the colours that I have used and stuck with so far. It's so the palette I'm using at the moment. I was given by the team. Um, it's called High Flyer Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette from Sleek. Um, I've only been using a select few colours though. You can see like the ones that I've been using. It's sort of like this pinky purple bit here. And then I got gifted this ages ago. It's the Disney Villains Misunderstood Palette from Colourpop and I'm literally just going for that black. That black is pretty much the only one I've been using from this palette. Um, but yeah. I was also gifted this the other day, which is very much for after the show. But Zoe B um, Beauty of Nature sent, they sent me a few things, but this one is their gold cream. So it literally has 24 karat gold in it. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I've used it a few times, as you can see. Um, and it's so thick but it's so beautiful and I've been taking off all of my makeup before I leave the theatre and then smothering my face in this and it's just gorgeous. It's really, really quite lovely. Finished a book yesterday called The Dreamers. Um, I can't remember the name of the author, but I will put it up here. And it was written before the pandemic, about a pandemic, um, which just blows my mind because obviously I'm reading it from the perspective of having just gone through a pandemic. Obviously there have been pandemics in the world before now, but um, it is just bizarre that it literally was published in 2019 and for it to be an exact reflection of what we've just been through, but written prior, blows my mind a little bit. Um, but now I'm moving on to Pumpkin, by Julie Murphy. Um, Julie Murphy also wrote Dumplin', um, which was made into a Netflix movie with Jennifer Aniston, which I really enjoyed. I haven't read um, the other ones. I haven't read Puddin' or Dumplin', but I think I'm just gonna start with Pumpkin and see how I go. 
this sounds really fun. So yeah, I'm gonna start reading that mm, maybe before, I don't know. I'm feeling quite tired, so I might just have a little lie down because um, we did some sound work on I Know I Have a Heart, which meant singing it a few times. So I'm a little bit like, ooh, a little bit emotionally drained. Um, so I might just have a little lie down for a bit, but I will be reading that on the train home tonight and I'm very excited about starting it. But until then, I will see you in a bit. We did a, a semi run of act one and now we are doing a few bits and pieces in act two and then we are spacing the bows for the first time. Ah, so excited. Someone called Gemma, I don't know who, sent me a big box of donuts. So I took one, it was a box of six and there's five girls in the room next door. So I just gave them the rest. And so many flowers have turned up at the theatre from my auntie Kim and my family in the Isle of Wight. My friend Emma Kingston, she sent me black roses to match Bad Cinderella and Oliver bought me some flowers as well. But the problem is I only have one vase in my dressing room so I've had to just smush them all into one, one vase and uh, hope that they somehow survive. I do love seeing how creative people get with opening night gifts though. I've been rubbish, I'm gonna wait until press night whenever that may be because I've just not even thought about press night presents. This is from Vinny who plays the baker. He made hot buns um, at the weekend and it says you shall go to the ball with the date and then a picture of the theatre on it. He's just the sweetest. So we all got a hot bun from the baker. Here we are, opening night of Cinderella. I am like constantly on the emotional verge. I need to not burst into tears until it is appropriate for me to burst into tears. I think I'll be all right once I'm up there, but right now, totes emotion. Joanne Hunter, the choreographer came in and she started getting emotional. I was like, no, you cannot do this to me right before a show. Compose, please compose because I need to compose. One of my favorite things that I didn't know happens. There's like bird song and sweet countryside atmospheric noises played into the audience before the show. Welcome to Belleville, super sweet. Look who it is, it's Prince Sebastian. How you feeling babe? West End debut. Feels good. How yeah. are you feeling? I feel nervous. Yeah. I hope you guys like it. Are you excited though? Yeah. No, of course. What was it? Is that what was heard? What is it? Um, butterflies. Butterflies are fine as long as they fly in formation. This. Yeah. Butterflies are fine if they fly in formation. formation. Da -da -da. Stammer please, stage management, sound, LX, automation, wigs, wardrobe and all technical staff. This is your Act 1 beginner's call. Thank you. Hi. Well, thank you very much. Good evening. Thank you. I'd say that, you haven't seen the show yet. Um, do you know, the last time I had a bizarre experience like this was in this theatre, and it was 40 years ago, and about two months, and I was standing up, I'd just been with the company there, and they were all dressed in cat costumes, and nobody had actually seen a cat, and we all said, what are we doing here? 
Well, I'm very pleased to say that we are all very, very pleased to be here tonight. And um, the first thing I'd like to say is a big thank you to all of you, because um, you have been shifted, moved, um, and uh, you've stayed with us. And uh, by just actually very generously leaving your ticket money with us, you've given us more money than the government has, I can say. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave you. Uh, for a moment with our director, Lawrence Connor, who's going to tell you something about the interesting times we've had trying to get a musical together in, the, in this extraordinary moment, I suppose. Um, but all I can say is I just hope you enjoy the show. Um, it's early days, it's the first time, do you know, I certainly think it's the first time I've actually seen a show since this, um, no, apart from Evita in the park, it's the first show I've seen. Um, so I'm rather looking forward to seeing a show tonight, I must say, <laughs> because none of us have yet seen this anyway. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to our director, Lawrence Connor. Lawrence. everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on um, what has been an incredible journey. I mean, uh, obviously it's been the most horrendous sort of year and a half for us in theatre and uh, to sort of build a brand new show in these circumstances has been extremely hard because we've you know, we've still, we've got to get things and have things made and, you know, Brexit didn't help. Uh, so we've got lots of, you know, we've, we've been working tirelessly to get the show ready and um, we're very proud of what we have to deliver to you but it is our first time be gentle with us uh, we really really when I say that we really haven't had a chance to run the entire show from start to finish means that not only is it you know the first time we this theatre has had an audience in it for a long time, it'll be the first time that this audience will hopefully witness this, it happening all the way through, without any stops. Um, but things can go wrong, that's what happens with previews, you're seeing it at its rawest state, and, and um, so you might see the odd person like, running out, sort of grabbing stuff, and uh, just things might not be quite in the right place, but just bear with us, enjoy the show. Um, I should just do a few house notes before we start. It would be great if you would wear these things throughout, um, they're for our own safety. Um, and if, obviously if you have a good reason not to, that's, that's fine, but please be careful for everybody else. Um, obviously, please switch off your phones because you don't want to be that guy or that girl whose phone goes off in the middle of the show. And, um, and also, please, really enjoy the show, show your appreciation where it's needed, and have a really great time. Welcome back. Yeah. 